Hello. Hey everybody, it's Vlogging 382. I'm on vacation. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, I was gonna try and, I've been planking and doing push-ups and stuff behind the camera. So I could probably try to plank for a little while, but I don't know if I'll be able to focus. So this will keep me on point. For those of you just joining, this week we've been talking about goals, plans. Uh, what do I want to do with my life and why? And I think it's probably time to come back to why am I in France? What am I doing here? How did I get here? Because I get asked that a lot. And so I'm gonna dedicate a whole video to it and then you'll know why I'm here in France and then you won't have to ask me anymore. And if you do, we can just link to it in the bottom and that'll be great. Also, the Paris soccer team is running laps around me right now, literally. But enough about them, what about me? First off, Grandma, thank you for your birthday card. Although, when was the last time you were at Route 66? There's a story there that I don't know. I feel like you're holding out on me. But thanks for your birthday card. Also, one more house cleaning item. Uh, the entire shaving my beard thing has caused quite the controversy, both in comments and in my real life, actually. There are a lot of people who have very strong opinions either way, and so the only way we're gonna settle this is by poll. So I'm gonna put a link below to a Patreon poll uh, that's open to everybody. You don't have to be a patron to vote. Just go ahead and click in their beard or no beard, uh, and let me know what you think. Feel free to leave your reasoning in comments below or in comments on the poll, and uh, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and decide whether or not I grow it back out or not. But I did just trim it right back down, so. All charged up, I forgot it was the first of the month. That is done, but my metro line is down. Anyways, I'm gonna have to walk to another station and try to catch a train there. And for those of you concerned that I wasn't gonna follow through on my promise to let you pick my sunglasses, uh, the cheap ones that I bought and were just kind of wearing for the moment just fell off my hat and exploded. Pretty sure they're not supposed to separate like that. <sighs> Despite that massive yellow sign, the Peloton is closed for the next few weeks, but we are still doing bike tours, obviously, and renting bikes and stuff, so still going in there to drink coffee and work, which would be nice because it'd be perfectly quiet because nobody's around. It should be lovely, but in the meantime, I haven't eaten anything yet. Uh, there's a new hot dog place that opened up not far from here. Everything's homemade, uh, and she's really nice. So I'm gonna go get a hot dog from her, which doesn't sound like diet food, but remember, my diet's just calorie counting, and that's about it. So the first question is always, why France? It's a question I don't really have an answer to, to be honest. I've always wanted to be here for some reason. Ever since I was a kid, I was just in love with the idea of France. I skipped Spanish classes because I knew I was gonna learn French. Regret that now, I wish I spoke Spanish, but still, you know, I wanted to speak French. So I've just always had kind of an obsession with getting myself here, and then when I got here, I really enjoyed it. There are obviously a lot of challenges to go with it, but I was like, yeah, this is great. However, at the same time, after a year of living in Nice, I was like, yeah, I was pretty ready for a break. I was kind of done with it. But then I came up here and had a visit to Paris with my parents and immediately fell in love with this city and realized that this was the experience that I've been waiting for. Like, this is the experience that I've been dying for the whole time. And for whatever reason, uh, I just wound up in Nice instead. That's kind of how I ended up in Paris more or less. It was that visit. When I was on the ship, I just kind of knew that I wanted to get back to France, and when I needed a break from the ship and had the opportunity to work with our global office, which is in Switzerland, I was like, I'm going to Paris. So I applied to be a teaching assistant here, got that visa, went, snagged it, came back here, and lived and worked in Paris for a while, and it was great. That was Laura, she's the owner. She was super nice. I met one of their employees last time who was also very nice, but she was like super cool. And with those uh, sunglasses and the smoking, super French too. All right, 
All I've had to eat today is a banana. So uh, it's like two o'clock, I've run four miles, I'm all the way in the middle of town, I really wanna eat this hot dog. And then I'm gonna get some work done. I also have to go do some French administration stuff, which I'm not looking forward to. But that's one of those things, you gotta pay to live in France. And one of the ways you pay to live in France is with your sanity. And sanity is most easily destroyed by the administration in this place. Ultimately, I really love the lifestyle here in Paris. Like the late nights, good food, interesting things to do all the time. Obviously there's some drawbacks like the lack of convenience, getting randomly yelled at for no good reason by French people. But aside from those things, overall, it's super worth living here. So the goal is to live here long term. And because I have this visa that'll last me four years and is renewable, living here long term is very possible as long as they don't end up kicking me out in the interim. So if I can stay, which we'll find out next month in September whether or not I actually get to stay or not, then I'm gonna try and actually stay. I got kind of distracted trying to tell if Christian had already left or not and just stubbed my toe on this step over there. So, broke my sunglasses, I just stubbed my toe and uh, I, I might lose that toenail. We'll find out. I'll sit here and eat my hot dog. Also, those uh, random men with very large mustaches just told me that some dude uh, died on this corner and in an accident some time ago. I don't know who it was, but he's dead now. So then the goal really in my head, all of this as far as like the long-term visa and hopefully maybe even actually being able to become a dual citizen down the line, which I think would be amazing. All of that coming together uh, actually plays into the, the hope that I can be in Paris like 50 or 60% of the time. The hope is we've talked about like the writing goals and obviously I wanna be doing more and more YouTube and traveling more and I think that's a huge part of it is I want to have a home base like Paris I think Paris makes a really, really good home base, but then I want to be able to jump out of here uh, and go see the rest of the world. My hope is that this, of course, plays into success in other areas. Last year, I got flown to New York for the first time. I was invited to speak at a convention for my writing, which was really, really cool, and I hope that that continues to happen and actually happens more. Similarly with YouTube, I'm hoping that I get invited to maybe VidCon and some others and that I could be traveling for work, but like for my work, for the stuff that I'm passionate about because I've traveled for work, I spent two years on the road as a traveling consultant, like on an airplane every three and a half days. And doing that for something you really don't enjoy, uh, as far as the work is concerned, isn't fun. But if I was doing that for this, like traveling for the vlog and for my writing, I'd be set. Also the guys who, the, the construction guys are back at it out here again. Which means everything's covered in dust. Like, and it's really obnoxiously noisy. So just like breaking stuff and then trickling it down through the scaffolding. Yeah, and I definitely need to get on that sunglasses vote. I'd release a Patreon beard vote, and that's pretty much neck and neck at the moment, so we'll see how that goes. I accidentally gave it 10 days, so you got 10 days to make your voices heard on that. Let's see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to this store down here that Rachel suggested for some really fun sunglasses that shouldn't be terribly expensive, and something hopefully sturdier than the ones that I broke today by dropping off my hat. Three or four. That one right there, he says. No, no, no. That one right here, he wants me to try these ones right here. Okay, so I'm gonna try four, and you guys can vote on which ones I take on. So we'll try those ones first. Yes. <laughs> they like Elton John. Screenshot. It's cousin. Slightly more tame. Hmm. This guy, right here. A little more standard, classic. And this guy, nice and thick. Which ones do you think I should try? These ones? These ones, these ones, or these ones. Vote on Patreon right now and please be kind to me. One last try, he really also wanted me to try these ones on. Hmm, I feel like a villain. James Bond yeah, movie. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, uh, Lerka, I just ran into Lerka. You just got back? Yeah, I just got back. When were you gonna call me, Lerka? <laughs> when were you gonna tell me that you were back in town? Lerka, everybody. This is why I love living in this town, they just randomly run into friends on the street.
easy, it was done. I love that office. That's my, basically my health insurance. There are two major main health insurance providers in the country as far as I understand it. Basically you have the one, the standard one for everybody that has regular employment and then for independent contractors you've got these guys. They're so nice. Every time I go in there it like helps me to, it restores my faith in humanity that I can go into an administrative office in France and not want to kill myself when I come back out the other side. Ah, she's lovely. Anyways, back to getting stuff done.